Hey guys, it is day one of renovating on the Boho Bunkhouse, Jayco, and it's kind of day one because we already started ripping this trailer in the fall, but we had a lot of other pro projects derail this one. So I'm gonna show you the front room. It was actually, they had turned the master in this trailer into a second bunkhouse. There was actually eight beds in this trailer. And we obviously wanna turn this back into a nice trailer for our family. And so we are turning this room back into a master. We're gonna do something fun since we're starting from scratch anyway. And we kinda can run wild on this. So this room's empty. And then over here, we've got Audrey, our helper today, and Jesse and we are going to rip out the all the lowers on here because they're pretty jacked up and these cabinets are pretty flimsy most cabinets and trailers are so they're hard to repair if you get any sort of like water sitting on them which these did and so we're going to rip out these and then we'll rip out the uppers here put some um, open shelves baskets we're gonna leave this probably most likely there we might I might change my mind and do a stove top here and then we really want it because it's a really nice space for a family of six since there's a bunkhouse in the back for four kids. And I want a bigger couch because this is not a big enough couch for a family of six. So we are going to make the dining space be a better utilization of space. We're gonna kick the couch bigger, do an L shape over there, and then a built-in um, table with some stools on this side. Then over back in this section, there is the bathroom. This is a really kind of ugly, ugly space right here. So we're gonna do behind these mattresses. We're going to do um, coat hanger, wainscoting, wallpaper. Very cute. And I have some really fun ideas how we're gonna make this bathroom a nice spot feel. And then we have back here, scooch past the mattresses. We have a really fantastic bunk room, and it has got four bunks in it and good space. There's no slide out in here. Um, but it actually has, it feels really spacious for having no slide out on the bunkhouse and four beds. So I do not like this whole space here. It is ugly and not great utilization of the storage we have. Rip it out and we're actually gonna do a floor to ceiling wardrobe here with some hanging space and clothing drawers or baskets in here for the kids. So four baskets for the four kids. I know, it opens, huh? And then it'll go all the way to the ceiling. So I'm super excited to have hanging space in the it's bunk room. Bench. It is a bench, it's so fun, huh? You can open up. It can. And then here we have some great storage here. Huge huge cabinets for pantry, other storage. And we are ripping out the dinette. And then this week's plan is to really just get things prepped um, and built back up so that we can start getting on painting next week. Um, and that process takes a long time and it might be a little bit ambitious to think we'll get to that point this week, but we're excited. We're excited to have a project to work on and that is our plan for today. Day two of trailer renovations. Sean just barely finished ripping out the whole bathroom. We had a little cabinet in the corner, um, a sink and a mirror, but none of them were very practical. So we're gonna do a new vanity, gonna do, probably do a spot back in here for um, a dirty clothes hamper and then some above head storage and just like be better utilize this space. And right now what I'm working on is getting all the walls cleaned up. There's a ton of... Right now what I'm working on is cleaning up the walls. There's a lot of screw holes that um, have kind of made divots in the um, wallboard. And then there's a lot of silicone and then there's like this weird stuff, the adhesive tape that they used for the shower surround. So I'm just cleaning up the walls. A lot of these walls might be covered with um, vinyl tiles or um, maybe some sort of paneling and things like that. But I do want to make sure that they're as flat as possible for whatever we're doing, whether we're going to paint them and patch them or whether we're going to put some sort of um, paneling on top of it. So that's what I'm doing right now, just kind of cleaning up everything. And then we're going to start working on building out benches and things like that so that we can move on to painting after that point. But today it's just cleaning and getting walls prepped. Take 
Nope. This wall panel we did some janky retrofitting up here and totally just jacked it up. So instead of trying to patch it, what are we doing, Sean? Taking it down. Ripping it out. We've been working on a bunch of other stuff other than the trailer this week, and so we're only going to be able to get about an hour's worth of work in here today. My plan today is to get all of the walls and things spackled, and that's what we're going to be moving forward on right now. All right, we're back in the trailer today. Yesterday, I um, cleaned off and plastered the walls. They built a second wall over these and there was a lot of damage happening on there. And I didn't actually wanna do shiplap or any sort of um, brick paneling over the top. And so I'm attempting, it's my first attempt at doing this, at just doing kind of this nice Venetian plaster look over the walls in order to um, salvage the walls and to camouflage some of the damage that's happening there. We did our best underneath the Venetian plaster look to get it nice and smooth, but um, I really am hoping this will look super nice. And I'm gonna paint over it. If it looks like crap, we'll probably just panel over the top of it anyway. Um, so only like a few hours of work loss, but I'm really hoping this does work out. So that's what we did yesterday on both of these walls. I still have to finish that wall a little bit more. So Sean was working on the entertainment center yesterday and they, we unearthed all of this right here. They had a wall over the front of it um, so they could have the bunk beds going up to it. We wanted to see if the rotating TV feature still worked and it does and we kind of want to keep that because it makes it so you can put a beautiful piece of artwork on the back side so that can be in the living room area and then when you want to have a TV you can flip it around. We're going to have a door that slides over here to close off the front bedroom and today I'm going to be finishing plastering this wall and I'm also going to be plastering the back wall in the slide out. We're not gonna do the sides, we're just gonna do the back wall on that one. I may also do the back wall in the bathroom, just see what I think, and then possibly the back wall here. So kind of just all the exterior walls as if those were the cement walls of the home and then the interior ones are going to be the flat ones. So I'm hoping to bring some nice texture in that is pretty subtle, but without having to bring in a lot of paneling and extra weight as well. So we'll see how that works out and that is our plan um, of action today. So I finished doing all the plaster on the front of the room as well as the sides and I painted the side to see what it would look like with paint on it with the plaster to see if I wanted to do it other places of the trailer. And then right now, Sean and I are, we are marking out kind of what we want this master bedroom to look like. Now we are starting from a fresh, fresh slate in here because they had already ripped out the master bedroom, the bunks in here. So we're having to kind of reimagine it. But we have our idea. Um, website up and we're looking at dimensions of things and we are taping them out on the floor to see exactly how they're gonna work out. So we want to do some drawers here. So there's actually um, closed drawers in the bedroom and then we want to do a shoe storage here that opens up so when you come in through the um, door you put your shoes somewhere. So that's what we're working on now. I did do the plaster over there on that wall too and we're actually out of plaster and we're probably gonna make an Ikea run to get this drawer cabinet, this shoe cabinet, and then we need to tape out um, the size of this wardrobe that we want back here. It's gonna be a bulk of the hanging, well, it's gonna be all of the hanging space in the trailer, I think. So that's what we're working on. 